guys, my name is Rage and we are back today with another video for you all. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the first three nodes that we can unlock now in the next stage of Doom Chapter 3. And fortunately for this next stage, um, we are allowed to actually use any type of character. So it's nice that they didn't actually restrict us. Um, I was kind of messing around last night and just seeing what teams worked. For me, um, this is the team that worked for me, the Symbiote roster. And I was able to complete the three nodes with uh, the roster at about 237 to 238k. So this is my team right here. Let's dive into the, uh, to the details. My Symbiote Spider-Man here with the four red. In addition, as you can see here, I do have him with the level two Raider, just to be able to apply that vulnerability um, to ensure we're working hand in hand with the strikers on our team. With Symbiote Spider-Man, as you can see here, I do have both his basic as well as his passive T4. I am gonna work on getting a special and ultimate um, upgraded as well, but for the time being, um, didn't have any issues with just the current upgrades as it is. So that's my Symbiote Spider-Man. He's really going to be providing that healing for the team and applying the defense down in addition to that timely, timely stun when needed. Next, you guys, um, to provide a little bit of sustainability in our team, uh, buffs in addition to that buffer of being able to revive. I do have Anti-Venom here at 50k with the 5 red. Got super lucky with him in the red orbs. Um, additionally, he's the one with the level 2 striker working hand in hand with Symbiote, um, applying that extra strike when he can and doing that additional DPS. Uh, the thing about Anti-Venom is he did actually come out through an event, so if you guys don't have access to Anti-Venom, Minerva is a great supplementary piece um, to be replace him. He won't, she won't get the speed bonus from, uh, from like such as Anti-Venom from Carnage, but uh, Minerva has the revive. She also gains uh, healing and additionally can support the team. In addition, she has a really good uh, ultimate in terms of that bypassing that heal block. So definitely Minerva is a great substitute if you guys don't have anti-venom. So hopefully this gives you uh, a sense of how strong Minerva will need to be. Next, you guys, um, it's absolutely crucial to have Carnage on this team. Having him at almost 50k here with the four red. In addition, for his ISO-8, um, he's going to be the opposite of Symbiote Spider-Man. He's going to be applying the Skirmisher here, working hand-in-hand, -hand, additionally, to also apply the vulnerability. As you can see here, I don't have any T4s yet, but uh, I am looking to upgrade him. It's just I wanted to see if I could do with a lower power team, and fortunately, it worked out for me. So, um, 49k here with Tier 12, and as you can see here, um, no T4s yet, but... Uh, very, very crucial piece, especially for the Symbiote roster, providing that extra speed up. That's how we're going to gain advantage over the enemies, right? So I would say Carnage and Symbiote Spider-Man are the two most important pieces for this team. Uh, next, you guys, I do have Venom here at 36k in the, in the tier 10 um, with the three red. In addition, his ISO weight didn't need to go up too high, just the level one striker um, to, to apply that extra damage, working hand in hand with uh, anti-venom, um, especially when there's the vulnerability statuses provided by Skirmisher and Raider. So as you can see, no T4s on Venom's abilities, and he is only tier 10, didn't need to boost him up too high. He is tankier than most of the other symbiotes, and because of the speed up he gets from Carnage, very, very crucial. Last but not least, you guys, to provide benefits when there is an enemy or an ally that dies, Scream here, I got her at 35k um, with the 3 red. In addition, she's going to be similar to Symbiote. Applying the Raider here, as you can see, we don't need the healers because uh, we're going to be getting such a big boost up in speed that we're going to be able to supplement ourselves. Uh, Scream here at tier 10, um, no T4s on her abilities as well. So um, with Scream, um, she was also available via event, so I, I don't actually know if... Uh, you know, for a substitute for stream, I mean, you can use any character, but, you know, she really helps, uh, takes away buffs. So, I mean, if you guys really want it, I would say Emma Frost is a great substitute just because not only can she cleanse conditions on the team, but additionally, she can also take away buffs. Um, Agent Coulson's a good one. Um, I'm just trying to see off the top of my head here. Um, Proxima Midnight, I like her abilities. Hela is great for spreading conditions. Um, so, some good options here, but fortunately, um, I haven't seen a lot of players have issues with the first three nodes, just because we're allowed to take advantage of so many different characters here. So, uh, with that being said, you guys, let's dive into the Glade play here for you all. So, as you can see here, a uh, total of 237, um, just shy of 238k, you guys. So, let's dive right into the gameplay. As you guys will see, we are going to be up against some significant, significant foes here. Um, they're all going to be ranging for the 60 to 70k. So 
what I did first is um, we really want to get the bull rolling in terms of um, applying our negatives. So uh, Ghost is definitely a problem um, in this note just because of what she brings to the table in terms of her um, regenerative abilities, the ability to, for her to be able to cleanse and dodge. So I am going to go ahead and start focusing Ghost in the beginning. Um, and fortunately, because if you, once you start applying a lot of bleeds on her in negative conditions, um, it doesn't become that bad. Uh, we just have to be very mindful because these guys do hit hard. Um, so for us, we have to make sure we can apply a heal block on her, additional bleed. Um, that's going to be key for sure. Um, as you can see there, my symbiote Spider-Man did extend the condition. So if you get a chance to, um, even though that, even though Crossbones is the one taunting, because he's adjacent to a Ghost right there, it does work out quite well. And additionally, we do have Scream to take away negatives as well whenever that does work out. So we got to take advantage of that. Um, so we were not even focused on the right side at all. I was just primarily focused on applying defense down with Symbiote. Otherwise, Crossbones and Ghost on the left side is definitely where the focus should be at the start of this battle. So um, right now it is nice. We have a stun. So we're going to go take advantage of Symbiote here just to be able to stun one character, prevent them from moving. And now that the taunt is off, let's go ahead and resume our attack on Ghost. Because like I said, um, especially with, uh, with the ne next wave not dropping quite just yet, we can take advantage of the fact that we can weaken both Ghost as well as Crossbones, um, especially those two being uh, more of the two significant characters in Wave 1 here. And the beautiful thing is, once you get rolling on the Symbiote roster here, um, the speed up is really nice. Um, and additionally, uh, it increases our turn meter. So I really love what they bring to the table. Uh, let me know if you guys were able to do it with a lower team. Um, I was kind of experimenting and I found a lot of success with this team. Uh, I also tried my aim roster, but unfortunately they just weren't having too much success as these guys were very, very high in defense and resistance. So it became really quite difficult to go to progress. Uh, so right now I'm gonna keep zooming now, attacking Ghost. Um, it, it's just smart to be able to allocate damage accordingly as well because before the next wave, we do want to make sure that, well, essentially we just want to make sure that obviously uh, we'll be ready for the next wave and uh, by allocating damage, we're not going to um, use up as much time as well as energy now. So um, just, it's almost kind of preparing for that, right? So as you can see here, I'm going ahead and just doing a little damage here, applying some bleeds, um, hoping I don't take one of them out. But additionally, I like where Ghost is at with her health right now. So we just got to be mindful of that and then keep resuming our damage here. So love what Symbiote brings to this team. Um, the Symbiote roster in terms of their sustain, their speed up. Um, we're gonna get an edge over the other characters just because we have that, that turn meter increase, right? We're getting more turns. Um, more turns mean our abilities are getting um, rejuvenated quicker than theirs and we have more abilities to be able to utilize. So that's why it's gonna be so crucial. Um, as you can see here, I, w I did go ahead and finish off one of the Hydra now as well as Ghost which does spawn the next wave. And this next wave does have Baron Zemo. So keep that in mind, very, very powerful character. And um, and we do wanna just finish off these targets while they're weak as well. So keep that in mind as well, you guys. But Baron Zemo definitely, get, a, get you guys get a chance, ability block, oh shoot. So I did mess up there, unfortunately, um, cause uh, I didn't see that he had the immunity and it would have it should have an ability blocked him thanks to venom but um just due to that mistake not a big deal uh you know just be mindful of that when you guys are going ahead and attacking him his immunity makes it so that you can't even ability block him unless you are able to take away both his defense up as well as his immunity so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna finish off both of those targets there thank you to uh the carnage's abilities um high damage especially when there's a lot of negatives on on an enemy so and uh, with wave two now, there is only three guys left, so we're gonna go ahead here. Um, this doesn't seem this should be an issue for most players, but you just never know um, uh, due to the power difference. So we just still have to be mindful of uh, of how much stronger they are than us than our team. But once we are able to resume our attack on him, now we can finally start applying some negative conditions. Uh, the biggest thing for him is when he had the defense up, he could resist a lot of our our tax as well so it's nice now we can actually penetrate that so as you can see here not an issue when he doesn't have defense up and immunity so we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna stun this guy um unfortunately that did spawn the next wave what i should have done is weaken those three before the next wave so uh, this is the last wave so um if if this comes on too early you guys may have to reset but hopefully not an issue uh, i personally uh the two characters i don't like uh ever be having to deal with is both nobu 
as well as Sentry. So that's why I'm starting to attack them. But I'm going to go ahead and finish off the, uh, the, um, this Hydra from the previous node. Uh, sorry, previous wave. And now we are going to go ahead and resume. Um, I'm going to ability block Sentry just so that he, he, uh, she can, he cannot shroud and then hide away uh, these hand targets. But we're going to go ahead here now and finish off Nobu. And as you can see, very, very straightforward at this point, you guys. Um, not an issue because of how much turn meter we were getting from our symbiote roster, our defense up. Um, the fact that Antivenom also has a revive is absolutely huge, giving us an extra buffer and the ability to likely three-star this. So as you can see here, uh, with Nobu down now, we're just going to finish off these last four here, starting with Sentry, just because he can shroud, he can hide his allies. And there we go, finishing him off now at this point. It is pretty much just an auto win here, especially with how powerful the roster team, um, the symbiote team is. So uh, there you guys have it. I'm going to finish off the gameplay here, but uh, let me know um, in the comments below, you guys, if you were able to experiment with some better teams, lower power teams, anything that kind of worked for you. But I don't think these first three nodes will be an issue for a lot of players just due to the fact that uh, we're allowed to pick any player. So uh, I, I really like the fact they finally were able to let us utilize our creative juices um symbiote roster is one of the best teams out there so hopefully you guys have all five pieces and don't need to make any substitute because that's really where they get all the value from it's going to be from both symbiote spider man as well as carnage so there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed this first video here i'm going to progress through these next few nodes and definitely document my progress but as always you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one